Former Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha was today buried at his home in Umiru, Siaya County. In a funeral attended by various leaders, including former President Uhuru Kenyatta, Professor Magoha was eulogized as a trailblazer in the region's education sector, underscoring his performance not only in ensuring the implementation of the competency-based curriculum, but also in developing a curriculum for higher education that was adopted by the East African community and beyond. Laura Ocheno with the details. The remains of former education CS Professor George Magoha were brought to Odera Akango campus in Niala to give members of the public a chance to pay their last respects as the Catholic Church led a funeral mass for the professor. Friends and family of the late CS sharing fond memories of the astute professor, whom they said was keen on breaking barriers responsible for inequality in society. This is for all of you. Wherever you go, start now. Be honest, try your best, upset people, but be forthright. And if you do that, you will be honoring the memory of my father. He was governed by the three pillars. His God, that made him, Stare, that molded him, and the medical world that shaped him. And that is why the three have played a vital role in sending him off. ODM leader Raila Odinga made his way to the funeral in full morning regalia. Symbolic of wedding of evil spirits while mourning a noble Luo leader. Magoha's widow, Dr. Barbara Odudu, also taking time to explain the Nigerian culture, which she said had put her at loggerheads with some community members. My new position in the family does not give me such privilege to do public display of emotions. I want my husband the Nigerian way, because when you are in distress, you go back to the womb, and the first language was my Anna. I mourned him in my own way. I did my songs of lamentation in church, uh, sorry, at the hospital. In a message delivered by ICTCS Elidoalo, Magoha was commended for his commitment to revitalizing education in the country, with other leaders noting that the gains he made while at the helm of the education ministry will forever be etched in the country's history. Professor Magoha loved doing his work. He had no half measures. He put his whole heart and his whole being into everything that he did. And he believed in whatever he did. I used to call him. And he has been somebody who is rare in his words, he speaks with very, very few words, but he does more things, and what he does has been seen. And as minister working with his colleagues in East Africa, proceeded to work to develop curricula, to develop standards for universities that are now emulated not only in East African in the East African community, but also in other countries like Malawi and Zambia. As the curtains fall on a giant who spearheaded reforms across various disciplines in the country, the clarion call has been to all Kenyans to emulate the steps of the late professor, especially in ensuring equality and inclusion for all. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV, at Umiru Village in Siaya County.